Let's practice working with multiple worksheets in this tutorial, Excel 2013 tutorial. So we begin by having a nice overview sheet. I'm going to type in the word overview and let me just press Control A, make the font size 20 so you can see this better. So we have an overview worksheet. I'm going to click on the little plus sign here called a new sheet and I'm going to add one more new sheet. I'm going to rename this one, double click it, I'll call this um, <coughs> business uh, A. <coughs> There's my business A and double click this, you can call this business B. So say you have two businesses, you can even right click the actual sheet, the worksheet, change the color of it, tab color, I'll make this one red, and I'll make this one right click, tab color, uh, we'll just make it blue. Alright, so I'm going to right double click this one, call this overview, <clears throat> and uh, let's click on sheet uh, business A. If you click on the top left corner, you can just change the size of this. Let me just make this a bit bigger. You can even right click a column, and let me change the column with the 20 so you can see this better. Okay, so we'll just say this is uh, business A sheet, and we'll just make up some uh, months here, January. February, March. Uh, we'll just uh, say that in January we made <clears throat> three thousand dollars. In February we made four thousand dollars. In March we made thirty-five hundred. And the total, we'll just uh, hit the auto sum button and press enter. And you can see that the total. Let me just uh, bolt this. Is ten thousand five hundred. Now, I could retype this in in Business B, but to save time, I'm going to right-click. I'm going to delete this Business B, and I'm going to right-click, and I'm going to duplicate. I'm going to move or copy this. So when I say move or copy, I'm going to uh, move to the end and create a copy. And click on OK. You can see it's called Business A bracket 2. Double-click this, and let's call it Business B. Press Delete, Enter and right click tab color let's make it blue <clears throat> okay so we're on the business B sheet so I'll call this business B and let's change the numbers up we'll say business B is making more money we'll just say 18,000 I wish uh, let's say 16,000 and we'll just say 21,000 so you can see the total automatically updates here for business B the total is lesser for business A and as for our overview we're going to say business A and business B. <clears throat> you as the CEO, the chief executive officer, wants to have an overview of how things are running with your businesses, your multiple businesses. And so a good way to do this is to type in a formula equals, click on sheet business A, and then click on this actual total number. Notice how in the formula bar you have the formula equals quotation business A quotation exclamation mark. The exclamation mark means that this is the name of the actual worksheet. See the worksheets are at the bottom here. B6. So B is column B, row 6. Then press enter. Enter. So you can see here we have the formula connected to information on other sheets. This is an extremely powerful concept that will help you uh, pull information together. So let's do the same thing. Equals. Click on business B. Click on this value and then press enter. So now say you go to business B and you <clears throat> change a value here. We'll say in March we actually made 50,000. Enter. The total automatically update updates here as well as in the overview. You can see the overview value updated as well and you can write grand total equals sum bracket and you can drag these two and press enter and you can always have an up-to-date up grand total regardless of which information you update in your other uh, worksheets. So the entire Excel file is called a workbook and the workbook contains different pages which are called worksheets. Congratulations, you now understand Excel to a deeper level. Thanks for hitting that like button.